how it all started. About 20 years ago, I was thinking of what to do. I actually wanted to be a vet. Um, I love animals. Um, I went to the college to enroll myself to see if I could um, do the vet. But when I got there, the college told me I, my maths and English was really bad. And I just gave up on myself. I, I thought, well, what can I do now? Animals is what I love the most. And now that it looks impossible and I won't be able to do it, um, what's next for me? So I started to pray. I prayed to God for God to give me a job that I would love. That I wake up in the morning and not have to worry, um, do it because it's my parents or it's for anybody, but it's just something that I love that I would do anything for. And um, I started to work in Sainsbury's. I was a fisherman at Sainsbury's because when I asked for a job there, that was the only thing they gave. Meanwhile, well, I never liked fish at that time. I was like, fish that smells disgusting. I was there for a couple of years, or four years down, three years down the line. One day, a lady came in with her son, and the lady pointed at me and said, do you know <clears throat> what that man is? And the son said, no, and she said, he's a fishmonger. And for once, it then hit me, like, am I going to do this for the rest of my life? I need to do something. Um, I need to do something. But I didn't know what. So I had two weeks break from work. And I decided to go to my uncle, who was a driving instructor. And I sat in his car for the whole day. And I said, wow, I think I can help people. I think I can teach someone to know how to drive. And um, four years later, Six years later, about roughly about this time, 18 years ago, I left Sainsbury's to start my journey to become a driving instructor. Well, first I wanted to pass everybody. And then I realized um, I couldn't pass everybody. I could try, but life is not always unfair, it's just some people just don't get on with. And um, I think that's the hardest part when you try to please people that they just don't see where you're coming from or you can't see where they're coming from. So it kind of sucks. But being an instructor for 18 years, I've met wonderful people from all classes. Um, they, anything I needed, I, I had it from my job. Um, it then made me, turn me to who I am now as a person because I'm um, all my life, I just thought, you know, what, what, what am I ever going to be? But then meeting people, it's just not about just teaching. It's about assessing a human being, knowing their mental health, knowing their weaknesses, and then helping them. It's a lot more than driving. It's about caring about a human being. And that's what my job is all about, just caring. And then for me, 
it built my confidence because when I was in secondary school I didn't do so well I felt that wow school was just crazy and when I saw people that had A's <coughs> I felt what kind of brain did God give these people how can they be getting A's in? and I'm just struggling with getting C's like you know but now that I'm older I'm an A driving instructor I think I needed it the most now when I'm much much older than when I was much younger because if I did it when I was much younger I did it for my parents to be sincere I didn't do it for myself you know so it has actually turned me to be the man I have, that I need to be my job has always been my first wife you know come rain or shine it's not easy having a business nobody has to wake you up in the morning you have to find your motivation people people would upset you and you have to find a way to get past it you know but put everything to perspective I could have never picked a better job than I have and I always say and I always be thankful to God you know for directing me this way and the joy I've given everybody the smiles I've given everybody down the years I can't be thankful enough. 18 years has been brilliant. So now, I want to say a personal thank you to everybody, any, everyone that's patronized me down the years, whether I worked that or not. And for those that have passed, congratulations. For those that are yet to pass, never give up. Life is never going to be easy. Things will go wrong. I tell people driving is like going uni. Some people come out first class, second class, third class, fourth class, whatever class. But the most important thing is about finishing. You know, just finishing the race. That's one of the most important things. And you never give up. No matter how bad things are, you hold your ground and keep doing your best and eventually whatever you want you will get so on this wonderful day i really want to say thank you for those that have been watching as well um, and your comments you know i want to thank all you all everyone you are the people that make st to be who st is so wherever you are, take good care of yourself and lots of love. Esty is over and out.